When it comes to testing batteries, we've got a couple of options. We can use a voltmeter to check the static voltage, looking for around 12.6 volts on 100% charge. And we can also crank the engine over, monitoring that battery voltage. And if it drops below 9.6, that indicates that we've got possible internal resistance problem. So if that's the case, what's the need for these battery testers? Well, the multimeter method is really quite crude. It doesn't account for the battery type or size. It doesn't account for ambient temperature and load testing is really quite a precise science. So just cranking the engine over and checking the voltage isn't gonna give you an accurate result. So in comes a battery tester just like this one. Now this is the BT200 from Top Don, and it'll work on a range of different batteries and sizes. And using one of these will give you a much more accurate and targeted test result. So it comes very well packaged in this nice foam case. It's a nice size there with these, with these battery clamps as well, which are really quite strong. So it does come with an instruction manual, but we're not gonna use that today. Let's just see how easy this thing is to use. So let's give this a go on a good battery and then a bad battery, see what results we get. For best results, make sure you connect directly to the battery clamps. Some batteries are hidden inside the car, under a seat or in the boot area. And if you test at the jump post points, under the bonnet, then you could get mixed results. Okay, so we're connected up to this battery here and all we need to do now is find out the battery details. This is quite embarrassing. Look at me scratching around here, looking for what kind of battery this is. And we've got a battery code here of S5A05. We'll stick that into Google and see what it is. I, I can't find the details anywhere else on the on the unit. So this battery is an AGM 680EN standard. Let's hit test, see what we get. And as we can see, we've got a good result for this battery. So healthy showing at 55% being able to supply 505 amps. Charge is at 86% at 12.5 volts. And we've got a really low internal resistance of 4.48 milliohms. So good battery that we've got there. So let's go ahead and connect this up to a battery that I suspect of being in not the greatest condition. So I know this is a regular flooded battery. We just need to find the details here. Seems like finding the details is the most difficult part of doing a battery test on, on any of these batteries. So what I've had to do here is actually loosen the clamp and tilt the battery to find what the uh, rating of this one is. So I found the data on the back of the battery and this is a 380 CCA. They're the details that we'll use on this. And we can see that the top down uh, battery charge gives us a range of different standards that we can choose from. It doesn't matter which one you use, as long as it lines with the spec on the battery. Okay, so let's hit test and we quickly get a test result out of this thing. And here we can see we've got the result of replace, so this really isn't a good battery. We can see there they're at 30% health with the ability to supply 210 amps, which is not great. 60% charge though, so that shows us that really that voltage really only tells us the state of charge and not the condition of the battery. As we can see there, we've got a much higher internal resistance of 14 milliohms. So let's run the crank test. Um, no surprises for guessing what the result of this one will be. As we can see there, we get a fail. The result is low, 9.5 volts, at 2.6 seconds to crank that engine. Okay, so if your battery was failing on the low state of charge and there was no problems, then you would want to find out why. So we've got the charging test integrated into this battery tester. And if we run that, we'll be able to check the condition of the alternator charging system. So we've connected up and we'll hit test. We 
can see they were being asked to increase the RPM to 2500 for 5 seconds. And once we've done that we can hit enter. Here we are, we've got a normal result. So we've got a loaded voltage of 14.3 volts, unloaded voltage of 14.5 and then the ripple of 20 millivolts. So no need for us to interpret all of those measurements. The top DOM BT200 just does it all for you automatically. So to summarize this top DOM BT200 is a really good tool. If I had my own place, I'd certainly have something like this knocking around the shop. Uh, top DOM do have a good reputation in the automotive uh, industry, looking around in different communities online. And this is definitely better than using a voltmeter to test your batteries, especially if you've got to tell customers that you know they've got to spend you know, upwards of £100 to replace their battery. It's good to have a solid result to rely on. And it beats guessing any day.